What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel here, Vinyl Syndrome. Thanks for coming back and checking me out before we get on to some uh, new business. Let's take care of some old business, if you will. Just a quick uh, shout out to some birthdays out there, a little late, but you know, get them in there. The, uh, Mike C. Time, you know, another fellow YouTuber, and uh, Cover, Ki Cover Killer Nation, excuse me, they just had uh, birthdays. So, you know, throw them out there, put their links below. Plus, uh, Mike C. Time got some uh, merchandise going on there, some uh, t shirts he just made, a lot of cool ass designs and shit. Oh, my special, like the one that says, uh, Loser across the chest with the O being a uh, record and shit. Really enjoy that one. Hopefully, if I uh, go to purchase one, that one's still available. But uh, again, links below since you guys can you know, go check them guys out in case you haven't. I'm sure enough. A lot of these guys already know these guys. They're popular YouTubers, but you never know. Some people might stumble across this and never heard of these guys. So go check them out and uh, go support you know Mike's uh, channel where he's uh, like I said selling his shirts and shit. It's always uh, nice to support fellow YouTubers. So uh, let's get on to some records here. All right, first one here is a band I've been a fan of for a long time. This is not metal or anything. This is actually rockabilly with a little bit of country thrown in. Uh, this is uh, Tiger Army's newest. I don't know if it's V or 5 with that dash dot 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 at the bottom right there. There we go. Like I said, this is a band I'm pretty sure California these guys hail from. And uh, like I said, how about Real Strong? Rockabilly vibe to him inside there. Nick 13, lead singer slash guitar player. This comes on this little uh, translucent. That's like aqua, blue green color there. So then these guys never check these guys out. You know, it ain't matter or anything, but you know something different. You might like like these guys. They got a nice little sign. Real good songwriting uh, in this band. The reason why I like these guys is make some good songs you just bop your head to, move around. <coughs> just some. Well crafted shit. <clears throat> Alright, moving on to the next one, which is metal. This is out of newest from uh, Wither. This is Grief Relic. This is uh, a, I guess, death, black and death metal band. I guess would be the best way to describe them. Have that uh, death metal quality to them. You know, what I really like about this is they're not really. You know, I would say as brutal, you know, as your typical death metal band. They kind of have that nice little atmosphere where that black metal does come into play vocally. Two has that nice little wide range. Dipping in and out of like uh, certain uh, genres and shit of, you know, some death and black. Yeah, this is just a nice little uh, listen from start to finish from these guys. These guys, uh, I think their last album they put out was seven years ago, I believe. It's been a long time. So I was seeing this, I remember uh, liking these guys. I heard uh, some of their shit. So I've seen this at a decent price, so I figured, yeah, I'm going to suck this up and uh, jam out with these guys. Glad I did. Awesome album. So any of these guys want to check out some nice, you know, death, black and death metal here. This is a nice little uh, album to check out from these guys. They're latest. This is some, uh, again, Weathered, Grief Relic. Some fucking nice shit. All right, moving on to the band that I was w waiting to get a fucking fuck for this album to come out. I don't have nothing else from this band, but I heard... Uh, Clip it's from this album. I believe this band was at that Maryland Death Fest, not the recent one, the one before uh, this year's. This is uh, Conan, their latest album, which is uh, Revengeance. Just some killer ass fucking doom slash sludge slash fucking stoner dome shit here. Just some hard hitting fucking awesome shit. Just nice, you know, rough vocals. I'm not, I'm not talking rough like death metal rough, I'm talking maybe like crowbar-esque, you know, vocals or something in that area of vocals. This comes on to standard black. What's nice about these guys, man, they just know how to just hit that little sweet spot in, fucking, in the uh, Doom genre where it's fucking, they don't really drag it or fucking make it last too long. They just, they, Get to it, get in and out, and just they just stomp, man. I love fucking putting this on, and just fucking cranking that stereo up and just blasting this shit. This shit sounds so good, so good. My neighbors probably don't like it, but I do. So, and these guys haven't checked out some Conan, and do check out some fucking Conan, just some killer ass shit again. Uh, Revengeance, name of this LP, killer shit. All right, moving on to the next one. Album I was very at first. I guess I'd say uh, very scared about buying because of the price. I looked at it was like, ooh, this is a little out of my price range. I usually like to stay in a certain range around buy ship. But I remember uh, 
<clears throat> it might have been a couple years ago now. I remember just hearing like a little something from these guys, and I really enjoyed it. I never stumbled across anything. And then this came out, which I'm assuming was their uh, their newest. And this is uh, if these trees could talk, the bones of a dying world. I am in love with this fucking album since I've been spending this. I've been spending this a lot recently. It's been finding my way. Uh, it's way on my turntable. Like I said, really quite frequently. This is pretty much a uh, progressive metal, all instrumental. They don't have like no. Just throw out some, uh, you know, progressive rock bands like Godspeed You, Black Eyed Peas, something like that. When they throw in like clippings of like, you know, movies or, you know, people talking and shit like that. There's none of that in it. This is all strictly music. And the flow to this album, from start to finish, straight 10 out of 10. I don't like doing that, but this goddamn album is 10 out of 10. This one up being on uh, Metal Blade Records, this just came out on. Can't remember what uh, label they was on previously. Yeah, just, they just got put on Metal Blade. It's, it's a double LP. <clears throat> Comes on uh, just standard black. Little picture here of a uh, wrecked plane, which is pretty awesome. But this is uh, the D side of this. Has a little etching of that wrecked plane. That I just showed you there in the cover. That's pretty awesome. Like, I'm going to get etching in albums. But yeah, I don't know, man. I've really, guys, I've really been enjoying this. I mean, the way this has been going, if it keeps, you know... Finding this way on my turntable, the way it's going, this might end up being in my top list at the end of the year. Just you know, top albums I just fucking just really been loving. So, if any of these guys have not checked out this band yet? These trees could talk, especially this particular album, uh, "The Bones of a Dying World." Just some phenomenal, phenomenal shit. Just great, fucking well written tracks. Like I said the flow to this album is just awesome from start to fucking finish. You don't lose interest at all in this. It just cruises through at such a nice fucking pace with just different breakdowns of just awesomeness that happen throughout this. Some aggressions, some fucking melody, just everything. This is just fucking beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, you guys just put out here. Fucking just awesome shit. I'm happy I bought it. Fucking phenomenal. Alright. <clears throat> Moving on to another album. I was fucking super duper, alley uber, fucking psyched by getting. This is my favorite avant-garde experimental black metal band. That is fucking Psy. Fucking Psy from Japan. This is uh, Scenes from Hell. Just fucking killer ass band that knows how to fucking do it right. You ask me, to, this, this, is, this is it. This is my opinion, the, the quintessential fucking avant-garde black metal band. Dude. This band just knows how to fucking make a record, an album, whatever. Knock it out the park every goddamn time. They just incorporate so many Dutch, diff uh, so much different instrumentation. They just flush out their fucking their songs. Everything just sounds crisp where it needs to be. It's just, oh, I just love this band. Just cannot get enough of these guys. It's just on standard black hair. So if for any reason these guys haven't uh, checked out Psy, please do so. I'm telling you. I mean, it might take you maybe a second to get into. It might throw you off guard, you know, because all the different shit that's going on with some Latin goddamn horns. And all kinds of shit they throw in there, but I'm telling you, once it gets a hold of you, it's gonna fucking grab you and it's gonna keep you. Because it's fucking phenomenal fucking music. Fucking sigh. Check him out. This particular album again, Scenes from Hell. Killer, killer shit. Killer. Alright, guys, moving on to the last one of the night. The Children of the Night. I got, uh, I really don't, I guess, yeah, I could say recommended. This just got talked about a lot in the, uh, out there in the little uh, YouTube land from uh, a lot of different uh, YouTubers. Uh, a couple ones come to mind, of course, Wyatt. I believe uh, also Canyon Bickle might have uh, talked about these uh, guys quite a bit. <clears throat> and at first, I know it's how this was. just stumbled across and seen the artwork. was like, what the fuck? This is, uh, the name of this album is Desert Dances and Serpent Serms. This is that uh, Black Twilight Circle. I'm pretty sure these guys are from out there in that California area. This is kind of like a sample album of some of the bands. Uh, this is, uh, let's see, one, two, four bands are on here. Uh, try to pronounce them for you guys. Uh, Val, Valhan, uh, Shatan, Shatan, if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, er, Erismenda, er, Erismenda, I guess that's it. And then Calathon. The last two bands, it's Erismenda and it's Calathon, with some just awesome fucking, just, you know, kind of, I, I don't want to say straight down the lane black metal, but, you know, they wasn't really as 
out there, you know, as the, these first two bands were that I first listened to, this uh, Bahan and Shatan. These two bands were fucking awesome. They did something that made so much sense, and for some reason, I don't know, maybe I, just, I didn't hear it enough. And that's, maybe I just didn't pay attention. It's been out there. But it was like, hey, you know, we're a black metal band. We're from over here in California. We're going to fucking incorporate desert rock. I was like, it makes fucking perfect sense, and it's just fucking... I'm pretty sure it might have been a Chaton band, might have had a lot more in it than this Volhan, but it was just awesome. I'm just listening to this like, Jesus fucking Christ, where has this been? Why well, has not heard this before? Why well, has not anybody else done this before? Does it make so much sense? It was, it was a part in one of these fucking songs. Again, I can't remember if it was Volhan or Chaton. I need to spun this, I'm pretty sure, like two or three times since I had it. But uh, there was parts where I was listening to and it sounds like I was hearing like shit from like the doors or something. I was like, dude, this is fucking awesome. I was like, this is just killer. Like I said, it all makes fucking sense from where it, from geography. Uh, geography. Sorry, guys. What is, what is, uh, these bands are located at over in fucking, uh, California over there. Shit, it's fucking, it's just awesome fucking shit. Just, just really, really liked it. Really enjoyed it. Like I said, the other two bands were awesome too. They just, you know, weren't just out there like, uh, instrumental wise and all that shit. Fucking, uh, like these first two bands were just really getting a hold of that fucking, like I said, that desert rock feel and all that shit that was incorporating his first two band sign. I just really, really like that. I'm gonna have to just, uh, like I said, check out some more from these guys, especially these first two, because they, they, them two grabbed me uh, instantly as soon as I heard uh, what the hell they were doing there. I just really enjoyed it. So uh, hopefully, you know, this starts getting around there more for these guys haven't checked these guys out. This uh, Black Twilight Circle shit, I was happy to stumble across this and happy to fucking get it. So, uh, again, uh, the bands on here are Volhan, Shatan, Erismenda, and Calathon, if I'm pronouncing that fucking right. Right there. This actually comes on me, show the vinyl, because I'm supposed to show the vinyl. Like, come on, man, show the vinyl. It comes on this little uh, colored purple inner splatter, if you will. Pretty badass. Little purples and some blues. Comes with this nice thick ass booklet. It's thick as shit, but it, it, there's not that many pages in it. The pages are just super duper thick. All the bands there lined up. Members of the bands. Lyrics, pictures of the bands. So this is a nice little uh, decent decent uh packaged album here. Wish it was a gatefold. Only great. A nice little booklet here of the like I said bands and lyrics and shit. So yeah, like I said, uh, it's got recommended a lot. I was happy to uh, hear, stumble across something from these artists here. So happy to add it to the collection. So thanks, guys, you know, for talking about these guys and recommended. Like I said, I really enjoyed these bands on here, especially these first two. So, and these guys, I want to check this shit out again. I'll put links below for everything. Again, uh, Black Twilight Circle. Fucking desert dances and serpent arms. Some awesome fucking shit. So that's it, guys. Sorry for rambling on and fucking shit up. It's what I do here. It's what this channel's about. That and sharing music. Fucking up and sharing music. Life story. So uh, that's gonna do it. So once again, shout out to the birthday guys. A little late, but hey, what can you do? Mike Seaton and Cover Killer Nation. Once again, check out Mike Seaton's shit if you want to buy some t shirts and shit. Support, support, support. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. So thanks again, and as always, you know, rock on.